Okay, the purpose of this video is to check the accuracy of the parking sensors of the Tesla Model S. This is how far back I have to park to get in the garage. It's such a big car. And I have to leave room for my wife's car. Even drew a little line to give myself a little a little assistance to make sure I have gave her enough room. Okay, I'm gonna just back up to the garage a couple times straight, a couple times at an angle. I'm gonna see how how the sensors work out. Uh, this is the screen you get when you put it in reverse. You tap here, it takes you in the parking mode, and it shows you how close you are on each side. came on showing 31 inches I'm gonna walk back and see how many inches it really is takes for it to come on and at what distance it'll come on still showing 31 now it's showing 12 inches and it's accurate again you see the red mark from one foot and it's right even with the bumper. It's exactly one foot. It's exactly 12 inches. And you also get the same screen on the on the binnacle over here. I'm gonna use that to get the last little back up. Now this time it just says stop. I'll put it in park and see how close I got. Cause it didn't tell me any amount, the exact distance, but it definitely wants me to stop. Okay, I still have some room. And it looks like I'm right at 10 inches. Light it up, it's still saying stop. I know it's got one more time left before it gets angry. And that was it. That means you really need to stop when you get the beep. Let's take a look at how close that puts me. I have to get over here to see. Looks like I'm seven to eight inches away from it. Okay, now I'm gonna put up the garage. I wanna see if it's gonna let me back into the corner of the garage. I wanna see if it's gonna prevent me, if it's gonna let me know I'm getting too close. I wanna check how accurate it is at the corner. you get right there pretty accurate too because that's the oh. hold on I'm about to run over the tape measure I only have four other tape measures left Showing us the rear right corner, 22 inches. 
21 inches. I'll stop right here, 13 inches. It's turned red. I have a finger at 13 inches right here. It's not quite touching, so it's probably 13 and a half, 14 inches. Okay, I got it turned around. Now we're gonna test the front. I'm gonna assume the, the corners are gonna be about the same. Yeah, I test the front and I have just came up with one more test in my head that should be interesting also. So it shows the line, it shows I'm getting close to the garage. Let me see. The garage is down, I'm driving up to it. I'm gonna try to not be one of the people who drive their Teslas through the garage. I don't have autopilot to blame. Showing 31 inches. I only have a camera up there, so I'm gonna have to check and make sure. And at this point, I don't have any reason to believe that it's not. Okay, so it's 31 inches. My board, see how it works. They're right at the edge. It's a little bit off. It's actually 29 inches. So two inches close. Up a little more. I really wish I had the bird's eye view. This part's making me a little uncomfortable. But I know 31 inches is pretty accurate. So I'm gonna go to the first alarm. I don't remember when it went off last time. Was it 18 inches? 12 inches? Getting closer, slowly but surely. Okay, it tells you to stop right now. The first time it tells me to stop, how close am I? Very close. That's gonna be exactly 10 inches away. Is simulate going over a curb. I have some stacks of wood and I'm gonna stack them up and see if it'll detect those and I'm gonna take them away and see if it'll get below the bumper before it starts not detecting it anymore. Okay, I already know the bumper will clear this cement whip that I have right here. But I want to see if these sensors, there you at. Let's see if the sensor here is going to notice these stack of boards. I'm going to do this nice and slow. Once it detects that the boards are so many inches away, I'm going to start taking them away and see at what point it no longer detects the boards. All right, back in the car. It's showing that I'm 20 inches from the back, the, the other corner. Let's look out the mirror. I'm good. Okay, so let's see. Get drier. Gonna go straight forward. Cause I had it positioned. Oh, you can see that? That area where I stacked them is turning red. Start taking these down to see how many can I take away before it stops showing that I'm 14 inches away from something. Well, first thing I'm gonna do, I'll probably just cut it in half and we'll see if that if that changes anything. So, just grab about half of them. Less boards in front of the car now. We'll see if it detects 14 inches still. Oh, I'm 
Carter showing 28 up here. It's showing 28 and it no longer has the the red indention right in the right quarter right here. So I'm gonna go stack a couple more on top of there and see if I can keep playing with this. Showing 13 inches again. Okay. Let's take away one. So good thing I have the music cut off because it'll keep restarting whatever song I have played over and over again. That's how I was listening to the USB. Easily do playlists on those, so I don't need to listen to USB too much. Drive. The driver's door is open. That's why it's not happy. And now it's back to 31 inches. So that's gonna be the height. Let's just see how tall this is. About 12 and a half inches. I was wondering if I get closer, will it detect it? No way to find out. Take two off. Let's put it back here. It's not sure. Yeah, it went away, it went back up to 21 inches. But it's still showing us that it's something a little close right here. But I don't think it's sure, so it's showing everything's 21 inches. I just moved up a little bit. So it should be in the eight to 10 inch range. It's showing 18 inches and I don't know I'm close to that. Yeah, that's a little closer to 18 inches. I'm not gonna be precise with this one. But that's three or four inches. So the front bubble will protect you against anything 12 and a half inches or higher. It's not really gonna be able to see anything lower than that. The bumper, unfortunately, in my model is, it, with regular suspension, sits a little under 10 inches. So, I'm not gonna, not gonna help you out a whole lot with some of those curves that aren't very tall.